So, in Dragon's Dogma 2, there is a capital city that you eventually make it to after up to a couple of hours of gameplay called Vernworth. And when you are in Vernworth, you're going to start getting, like, it's essentially a mission chain. You're going to have main quests that are coming from a guy called Bran. And there will be a quest for you to complete called the Caged Magistrate. And this one is not so obvious, so what we're going to do in this video is go through exactly how you complete it. So once you accept the quest, you're going to be given a jail key, and you have to go to the castle, you need to make it into the jail, and speak to a person. When you are in there, they are refusing to leave their jail cell until you find them somewhere that's like full of tomes. Basically, they want somewhere very, very specific in order to live. So what you need to do at that that point is head to the southeast of the capital city of Vernworth and it's going to be a little village that is very close to somewhere called the slums like it's essentially the slums and when you arrive there's going to be a person that is standing there you need to go and talk to this person you need to take an item of food with you because there are two choices to give food or to donate some gold and if you donate gold it doesn't trigger the quest you need to give them some food you can take an apple or ripened apple literally any bit of food give it to the person they are going to start a quest for you that is called the hill of history and what you want to do for the quest is go around the little village where this man is and you are going to find three children child number one can be found inside the building that is there so all you've got to do is talk to this person they're going to mention someone called malcolm which is the child you are looking for then child number two can be found in this location they're all very very close by so you don't need to go wandering you don't need to rest and do it at a certain time of day or anything like that you might just have to wait, like basically if they're in patrol mode, they go from A to B back and forth. You might have to wait for them to return. But child number two can be found here, like literally outside this building. And then a child number three can be found over towards like the edge of the village that overlooks the sea. And once you have spoken to all three, it's going to update your quest. And what you want to do is return to the guy that you spoke to that starts the quest. Once you have done that, he's going to tell you to follow him. You follow him for a few seconds. He's going to take you to this place that is filled with a load of rubble. And that is going to trigger like a black screen, like a loading screen essentially, where the rubble is cleared out for you to make your way underground into this place where you are going to be looking for Malcolm. Then all you want to do at this point is just make your way through. There are two paths you can take. One of them is going to lead you like underneath. And that is a little bit longer, but it doesn't take too long. Or the other option is, especially if you're using the mage, this is going to be really easy because you can use levitate. You're going to jump across the gap, and once you are across there, it's very, very quick to get to the right location to find Malcolm. After you have found Malcolm, you are going to start talking, and you are going to have to follow Malcolm to this little room. Once you've done that, there's going to be more dialogue and stuff, but what that's going to do is complete the Hill of History. And once that quest is done, what you need to do is then return to the jail cell and speak to the guy again, Waldhar, I think his name is. Once you have spoken to him and told him there is a place where he can take refuge, where there is a load of tomes, what he's going to do is ask for you to lead him outside, get him out of the jail, and then he will make his own way from there. So what you want to do, like I picked him up and just ran with him, but what you can do is just like let him follow you and make your way downstairs and out of the gates at the bottom. And once you have left the gates, it's going to trigger some dialogue. He's going to like thank you for everything and he's going to be on his way. And that is the caged magistrate quest complete. You can then return to Brant in the tavern and you can crack on with some other quests in the main like story of the game. So that's exactly how to complete the caged magistrate. And what we're going to do is leave that video there let me know your thoughts and stuff about the quest in this game in the comments i will see you guys in the next one i hope you enjoyed it i hope it helps you out thank you for watching